Hi everyone, today we've got a super exciting one. Today we want to introduce the 4x4 quad axle deck widener with active steering. It's a pretty exciting day today for JS Haulage and Turf One. Uh, pretty impressive combination. We've just been for our road test and it'd be underwhelming to say the driver's absolutely wrapped with it. So uh, I'm just going to take you through a few of the options. Now this trailer is heavily specced with quite a lot of options that you wouldn't necessarily get um, all in one trailer, but it's a good opportunity to walk around the trailer and just show you a few of the, a few of the many options that we can, uh, we can accommodate. So let's come and have a look. So not only is the trailer heavily specced, so is the dolly. I'll run through a few of the specs for you. So we've got, this guy's gone, opted for the vertical spare tyre carriers. The personal favourite of mine, I actually like the, uh, the tyres standing up vertical. He's got PTO lines running throughout the trailer. He's gone with for the uh, Holland um, fifth wheel. Holland is a standard fifth wheel that we use, um, standard option on our dollies. 90 mil kingpin, but they also come in 50 mil. And then uh, down here we've got the um, wide CE spring suspension um, and this particular combination because we wanted to match it to the trailer is on the SAF low maintenance 17.5 um, inch axles. So they have like a unitized uh, bearing arrangement in them for, for low maintenance and uh, on Michelin tyres 235 17.5 tyres. The real trick thing that we've done with this particular dolly is the mudguard arrangement and of course the bumper. Just for something special, something a bit different, and uh, to freshen things up a bit, I guess. The most exciting feature of this trailer, above all, all else, is definitely the active steering system that we've fitted to this trailer. So basically, it's a mechanically steered, kingpin steered um, steering system. Uh, it's our own design, uh, built here in Australia, in our factory. The axle that we've elected to use in this particular model is the SAF axle, which is a wide, it's used widely around the world. It's a, a high quality axle. Um, it's a 17.5, this particular one, low maintenance. So it's got a unitized style um, hub on it. They'll give you three years or 500,000 kilometers on unsealed roads, or they'll give you 1 million kilometers and six years on sealed roads. Another key feature of this steering system is that we have uh, the manual steering override, which is simple to operate, radio remote control, uh, start the power pack, disengage your pin, and uh, off you go, steering yourself into those tight access sites, um, hard to reach places. Apart from increased maneuverability, saving on tire wear, and getting into those hard to reach places. It's probably safer than a self-steering system in that the axles, even if the front axles come off the ground when you're negotiating those, you know, long dip, rough corners, particularly in logging country and things like that, the wheels will always follow the truck. Um, so it's a safer option as well. Occasionally our operators spec the trailers up with winches. This particular winch has got a 20,000 pound uh, winch, you can have 15,000 pounds and you can go up to 30,000 pounds. Uh, this particular winch we've opted to mount up between the vertical tyre carriers. Uh, as another option, you can also have it mounted further down the gooseneck, but that might obstruct with, with your loading. Or what some guys do is they get a stumpy winch and they actually mount it right in the base of the gooseneck between the, the two webs, um, which makes for a nice, compact, tight um, fitment. The winch is PDO driven. It has a manual override, but it also has a radio remote control. So you can be standing anywhere around the trailer while you're winching on in a safe zone. Um, so that's a handy feature as well. This trailer also has a sliding skid plate, um, which with Drake is a standard fitment. Um, this one has up to about eight positions. The top deck ramps, it actually follow the profile of the gooseneck a little bit um, and the purpose of that is, is he's got laser buckets so he actually loads 
the tractor, the laser bucket, the whole lot straight on the trailer. So um, again, that's it's a, a good setup for the particular machine that he's loading because it can actually straddle the gooseneck and keep the height down low. These guys do a lot of nighttime work, so we've added a very special feature and that's landing lights in the deck. So they act as almost a, a runway, a set of uh, landing lights at the runway that you see at the airport uh, when the planes are coming in. So the same principle applies to this. So when the operators are loading up the ramp, they can get an idea of where the edge of the decks are. Um, we have fitted them before and the feedback was really positive that, uh, that it helped the guys load safely at night time. The other thing we added to this trailer, standard um, deck plate is 8mm. Uh, this particular guy wanted to go with 10mm plate just to get a bit more longevity out of the, out of the decks. Um, you know, particularly when you're loading machines like compactors or pad foot rollers, things that are a little bit more harder uh, on the deck. And a bit unusual for a float, uh, we got bolster pockets on this one. Uh, this guy does all sorts of things, uh, carries turf, uh, but, uh, but also can be used um, to put poles in and a fall arrest system. So when you're working at heights, you know, you've got that safety barrier there behind you so you don't end up on the, on the ground. So at the front here, we've got the uh, sliding skid plate controls. Obviously, you've got your air operated locks. Uh, you've got a manual steering um, valve override. So obviously, it comes on radio remote, but you've also got your manual, manual override so that if your batteries go flat or someone loses a remote or runs over a remote even, uh, you can still steer. And of course, the winch uh, manual override as well. Moving down the trailer, we've got uh, standard toolbox arrangement um, on these particular trailers is one toolbox each side. Um, this guy's gone for four, so two each side. Most people get two each side actually. And then he's also got little chain boxes on the front. We've also got uh, another set of toolboxes, one each side at the back here. Again, this isn't a standard option, this is an optional extra. He's actually got work lights down just behind the uh, the second axle. Uh, so that can be, obviously, when it goes in reverse, that light comes up so you can see where you're going at night time, uh, backing in places. And being steerable, obviously, that's going to help a lot because um, you're going to be able to see directly shining into the, directly the area where you'll be pushing the trailer. So uh, that's a handy option as well. Another thing to add is with our side lights, uh, we use Hella as standard and they're all plug and play. So if you smash a, if you smash a set, uh, side light and you need to uh, replace it, you know, going to the days of, of bloody junction boxes and, and trying to solder things up, it's just unplug it and put a new one in and, and off you go. A pneumatic operated ramp chain tensioner, I think everyone's heard about these, they're super popular. Uh, I'd have to say almost every, certainly almost every quad axle trail that we deliver these days uh, leaves with one of these. Um, it's a good option in that, you know, imagine if it's absolutely pelting with rain and uh, you just want to load, put the ramps up and, and get out of there. All you have to do is flip a switch and automatically it puts uh, tension on your chain and off you go. You're not stuffing around with binders and, and uh, you know, it's just a quick solution. Um, flip a switch and off you go. Standard feature on our trail is a three metre uh, single ramps, but as an option you can go to 4.1, 4.8 or 5.65 bifolds. Uh, this particular trailer has got the 4.1s and they're also a little bit special in that not only do they lay backwards and prop in multiple positions, they also lay forward flat onto the deck. Uh, when they lay forward flat onto the deck, um, obviously the benefit there is, is fuel savings. Um, and also, if you're in logging country, uh, you're not going to be catching trees with the corner of your ramps. When they are laid flat forward on the, on the, on the deck, um, we've got pop-up oversized signs, and uh, obviously all your signage on the underside of the ramp um, so that you comply with uh, all the state authorities. Ramp props, the ramp props we use here are telescopic style, permanently fitted, uh, three position, so great when you've got those long loads on, um, or even if you just want to crack it back, 
you know, into one hole um, to give you that extra bit of clearance, you know, when you're carrying screens and crosses and things like that. Here at Drake, we use a quality steel rim. Our rims are built in Turkey. Uh, the brand's Jansa. Um, they're a fantastic rim. We send them away uh, to Victoria for chroming. Um, and as a standard option, you get uh, continental tyres. We've got uh, all of our um, valve control bank here um, for most of the operations on the trailer, but not all. This one comes with a really, uh, a really groovy new feature, which is a uh, high control valve. So basically, the idea of the high control valve is you can lower the trailer um, and lift the trailer back to the recommended travel height just by pressing a button. So they're located here. Suspension gauges, obviously, uh, you know, to be used as a guideline when you're loading. So you know you've got, you know, obviously, hopefully equals pressure both sides. But also to be used as a guide to, uh, to look at how much weight you've got on over the back. Uh, tie downs, we've got plenty. On this particular trailer, we've got over 60. On the uh, outer decks, inside decks, double rows, full length. Uh, rated at 9.4 tonne, that should keep the authorities happy. And, uh, and we've also got rope rails on this trailer, not something you see too often on floats, but um, every little bit counts I suppose. Well I hope you've enjoyed the walk around today, and pointed out a few of the great features that this new model has to offer. It's fair to say we're super excited about this, uh, this new active steer deck widening model and extremely proud. And, uh, and extremely proud to be Australian manufacturers. So don't hesitate to give us a call or send us an email and uh, we're more than happy to talk to any of us in sales uh, about uh, getting a quote.